20 miles from Westport is the Stockton coal mining area where two types of coal are mined. The open cast type of mining as shown here has been greatly developed recently. The average daily output from this mine is 1,250 tonnes, but on record days as much as 1,500 tonnes have been shoveled from the earth. Open cast coal is divided into two types. One, the screened or block coal, is largely burnt on the government railways. The other variety is the slack or fine dust coal, which is used for all kinds of industrial purposes. Wet or fine, the mining of open cast coal goes on. As soon as one truck is filled, another is ready to take its place. Every day, approximately 170 truckloads move off from here. Head, the truck is driven over the specially built up chutes into which the coal is unloaded. Underneath the open chutes, railway trucks are waiting to receive the coal. Electric engines haul 40 trucks at a time, each truck holding one ton. This coal comes from the underground mines at Stockton and a good part of it is mixed with open cast. The blend of the two enables it to be used for ships bunkers and a variety of domestic uses. Giving great heat, it is invaluable toward maintaining New Zealand industry. A steam engine takes over and pushes the load of coal trucks to the nearby wharves. is used to lift the body of the truck from its frame. This method saves many valuable man hours. Regular soundings are made in the Buller River bar to determine the depth of the water. The larger coal ships are sometimes delayed up to 36 hours and the bar must be kept free of the silt washed down by flood waters. A large convoy of trucks leave the Stockton mines loaded with coal for shipment to all parts of the Dominion. A grave economic crisis in Britain makes it imperative we maintain our high coal output, for coal is still the key to high production. When people retire from an active life, they often find themselves very much alone. Their families are scattered and some of them live in rooms and have to go out to meet their friends. It's nice to have a yarn in the sun. On wet days, you have to go to the library. Newspapers from the town you've lived and worked in still have an interest for you. But when you're old, the days are often long and lonely and you're apt to feel cut off from the world. Volunteers have been gathering at the Wellington City Mission to help tackle this problem under the leadership of the Reverend Harry Squires. Well, Alan, it's good to see you. I knew you'd come in when you heard of a job going. And we're going to need all the help we can get. But at the same time, we're determined that this Derby and Joan Club is going to be a success. For several weeks, voluntary working bees of tradesmen and helpers have worked jolly hard renovating the rooms. Painters have called in after work and have given a couple of hours of their time to put fresh paint onto the old walls. We've had donations of modern, comfortable furniture from several of the city firms. That gave us a good start, and of course the mission had to buy the rest. But things do look pretty good to me. The club provides an excuse for an outing, something to look forward to.
There are pretty surroundings in the women's sitting room and friendly people to talk to. There is the large lounge where the men and women can get together, where they can sit and talk over old times or play drafts and cards. Many an old battle is refought here <laughs> and loses nothing in the telling. And we arranged for the fight. And after a little preliminary arrangement, when the mob got ready, we started. <laughs> and as soon as I got his distance properly, I let him hit me in the mouth to get the distance. Yeah. Knocking my teeth out. That gave me the distance. And I brought the right hand across like that. Suddenly, after they threw the bucket of water over me, Consequently, it broke his jaw. That finished the fight. He couldn't get up. <laughs> 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 Can kept that. Well, that's beat the height out of you in billions. Here you are. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. There is no subscription for the Derby and Joan Club, and the only condition of membership is age. But for pleasant surroundings and comfort and a nicely cooked meal, it compares well with any social club in the country. It is not the complete answer for them, but it has done a great deal to lessen their loneliness, to bring people together and give them a place where they can find comfort, companionship and a social life within their means. You don't always feel like setting to and cooking a meal just for yourself. It isn't good to be alone too much. There's a well-stocked library too, but the most looked for event of the week is the Wednesday afternoon concert. The Derby and Joan Club doesn't set out to organise their lives or recreations, but to provide amenities for the comfort and happiness of these people who have served the community for a lifetime. 